their next question. Uh, just two more questions, one for each of the debaters. So this one is from Ashley M. It's for, let me see, uh, this one's uh, again for Patient Beard. She asks, how do they explain the fact that the moon is moving away from the earth and when they calculate it backwards, their millions of years don't add up? Go ahead. Their assumption when they do that math is that the moon has always been uh, pulling away at that rate. Um, there's other variables and factors involved. Uh, the moon is in an elliptical orbit. Um, and it, uh, the, the farther away that the moon actually gets from the earth, the slower its orbit actually becomes. And those two things tend to cancel each other out. So when you, it's basic, it's basically, uh, just a math error. So. Okay. And if Dr. Hoven has a response. Yeah. Uh, space place, nasa.gov website, uh, ran an article just uh, a few weeks ago about the moon is leaving the earth. Uh, will the moon ever leave earth's orbit? Space answers. Astronomy books are found, found, found of quoting the fact that the moon is gradually spiraling away from the earth. It is by the way, why is the moon leaving us from physics.org? I don't think anybody who studies this argues. Yes. The moon is leaving us about inch and a half a year. So at obviously, current rate. Closer. Now, if he wants to argue it's in an elliptical orbit, I agree. The, the point you're missing, that, that's a diversion from the point. The point is that elliptical orbit is enlarging. The moon is leaving us. Everybody agrees with this. But the this rate is not the same. You can't we just want to let, uh, sorry, Paige, and because it's your question, we'll let you have the final word. We just want to allow um, Kent to finish his thought here. Go ahead. Okay. A thousand years ago, the math tells us it'd be about 125 feet closer. A million years ago, it'd be 28 miles closer. Not a big deal. 10 million years ago, 284 miles. This is with a linear progression. It was much more likely a geometric or logarithmic progression back in time. But even just with a linear progression, you go back a billion years, the moon is 28,000 miles closer. The linear progression is the We've known about this. If you brought the moon about 1.4 billion years ago, the orbit would collapse because of the inverse square law. Uh, article right here. Oh, the evolution of the lunar semi-major axis presents a well-known timescale problem. The lunar orbit collapses a little over a billion years ago. Astronomical Journal. They've known this for 60 years. The moon orbit is increasing. It's going to collapse 1.4 billion years ago. It is not logical to say the moon's been going around the Earth for 4 billion years. It's just not common sense. We can do all the math on that if you'd like. But this is just, it's common sense. Science, science understands the moon cannot be billions of years old. So Dang. it is based it is based on known physics. It's not an assumption. They know inverse square law. You half the distance, you quadruple the attraction. It's, you're, you're, it's incorrect. The moon is just one of a hundred ways to prove this system cannot be billions of years old. Assuming, assuming that one and a half inches it linearly is the math error. Okay. To say that the moon is leaving us at 1.5 inches per day or per, per year uh, doesn't tell us what it was leaving us at thousand years ago. Okay. That's, There's more math the involved than to just linearly go backwards like that. That's right. the math error is to just linearly go back. You have, yes, one, one to 1. 1.4 billion years ago, but the moon has not been leaving us at that rate consistently throughout that entire time. Well, that's where you have the math upside down, Jared, as you get closer, it, it becomes even worse. The moon would have to be leaving faster initially to get out where it is today, because at a certain distance called Roche's limit, they, it cannot orbit. You cannot get the moon within a certain limit. It's like two magnets. You get them close and bam, they snap together. But so you have the math exactly is, upside down. It's the lunar orbit collapses about a billion years ago. They've known this for 60 linearly. years. Linearly. And that's a 1954 argument there, uh, uh, article that you're reading there. And you're, and you're relying on an 1859 Charlie Darwin book. Get up to date, well, son. Well, the thing is, is that we've been we've been uh, finding more and more evidence that confirms that 1854 theory. Okay, okay. we haven't been finding more evidence that God did anything. We've okay. been finding, We're finding less evidence that God did anything. Here's a 1994 book. Forty years later, the lunar orbit collapses a billion years ago. 1994. Here's an article from three weeks ago saying the evolution of the lunar semi major axis presents a well-known timescale problem. It is falling apart, and it's all based on logarithmic progression. Now, it would not be a linear regression from the Earth. 
you need to study a little math on that one, but it is not correct to say that we can explain the moon. The, the moon Earth system is less than 1.2 billion years old. There's no other way to explain it. Now, if you need four and a half billion years to turn your frog to a prince, I'm sorry, get a new myth.